guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do an epidermal peel using various leaves. I'm gonna show you a technique that's commonly used in labs, and this is something that you can use and then set up a future experiment with if you're interested in. Um, some of the materials you'll need are right in front of you. We're gonna start with just a cover slip, and what I wanna do, in case I'm running several experiments today, I wanna to make sure I label my cover slip. So the plant I'll be using today is a leaf from a bean plant. This is a Visha Faba, so that's what I'll write on my cover slip, just nice and small at the bottom. And this will be the second sample I set up today, so I'll write Visha Faba too. Now, the next thing I wanna do is flip this cover slip over, because we'll be preparing it upside down so we can then put it on the slide later and I can still read what I wrote. Then I'm gonna get some medical glue. This will help me attach my sample and make sure it's really nice and thin. If it's too thick, it's not gonna dry very well. And we're gonna make a square of about a centimeter, and that's probably too thick right there, um, but about a centimeter by a centimeter wide on our slide and we're gonna let this dry for about two minutes um, and to make sure it's not goopy when we're ready to do the next part. Now, when I'm selecting my leaf, I wanna cut it from the plant. Um, about the same location, I cut all my other leaves if, if I'm doing an experiment and I wanna compare my data. But today, since I'm just doing a sample for you guys, I just took my leaf from sort of the middle part of the plant. Now, a little bit of leaf anatomy here. This is the abaxial side, the underside of the leaf. So we're gonna uh, position it like this. And if our leaf is very large and has lots of veins, what we can do is take a razor and we can cut away some of the larger veins that we don't wanna work with. So we can do that pretty easily. Just make a nice clean cut, there we go, and put that away for now. Now, you don't necessarily have to do that since it's kind of a small leaf, um, but we can uh, use that technique if we're using larger plants with lots of, lots of large veins. All right, so now I'm gonna show you how to take apart your leaf for the epidermal peel. Now, my cover slip is looking ready. We can tap it to see if our glue is dried, and it's getting there. It's a little bit sticky, so we'll wait a few more minutes here. All right, so I think my cover slip is ready. Uh, I had to wipe a little bit of it off. It's good to always have your Kim wipes handy in case that's the case. All right, so this may be the most difficult part of the peeling process if you haven't had enough practice, but after a little bit of practice, you'll get the hang of it. Now I'm gonna take my forceps and I'm gonna tear a part of the leaf, a section of the leaf away from me. And what I really want is the very, very bottom layer of the leaf. And it's gonna be a thin, almost translucent layer. And now if I get dark green, that's okay. What I'll do is I'll tear away and place it on the cover slip in front of me. And then I'll be able to scrape away the parts I don't need later. So let's see what kind of sample we can get. So lift here and tear. All right, it looks like we got some nice clear portions there so I can tap and let's see if I can do one more from this leaf sample all right excellent all right that one's great so and we can tap it on our slide if we're wearing gloves to make sure it's secure and then the next portion we're gonna use a pipette tip or some other non-sharp object um, to scrape away very gently uh, as long as your object isn't too sharp to lightly scrape away the dark green portions of our leaf sample um, off of the glue. And we're gonna try to get all the part that's not our epidermis um, until we have an almost colorless sample that we can observe. Now, if it's too dark, you're not gonna be able to see the stomata that you wanna see later on. So let's make sure it's secure here. And then slowly scrape away. And if some of your leaf comes off, that's all right too. So it looks like we've got enough sample to work with here. And again, you can put two samples on the same cover slip if you want. Now, we're gonna take our slide, and when we're ready, if we wanted to treat this cover slip in a certain way, soak it in solution, we could do that. Um, but I'm gonna make a wet mount because I'm ready to visualize. So I'll just put a drop or two of liquid on my slide, and we'll turn it over, 45 degree angle, and drop it. Great, and what I wanna do is I can use the bottom part of my forceps and kind of tap away any of our bubbles here, make sure we don't have any bubbles because that'll make visualize in the stomata. All right, and if I have any excess liquid on the side of my slide, I can dab that away with my Kim wipe here. Great, all right, let's see what it looks like under the microscope. All right, so we're looking at our sample at about 200X here. Um, Remember, start at your lowest power objective first to find a good section, and you wanna make sure you find a section that doesn't have any air bubbles and that doesn't have too much dark green on it because you won't be able to see anything once you get a little closer. So then I went up to 100X, and then when I see these sort of puzzle piece formations, those are the cells that surround the guard cells, and I was able to see my guard cells. So now I am at 200X, and I can see these Vishifaba and the stomata. Looks like the stomata is almost closed 
closed on this one here and this one is all the way closed. So these, this is the end of the day and my plants have not been watered today.